We're now joined by Peter Williams, who is the Managing Director at Private Traveller. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. Peter, apparently you have visited most of the destinations that you feature. How many destinations do you feature? Uh, we feature probably about a dozen uh, major destinations, Caribbean, Indian Ocean, Europe, Southern Europe for summer holidays, pretty well everywhere. And I have actually over many years been to most of them and indeed to many of the hotels that we feature as well. It's part of the, part of the job now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fun job yeah. and uh, it keeps me going. Are you ready to pitch? I am indeed. Great. Uh, good evening and uh, thank you for the opportunity uh, to introduce you to Private Traveller. Um, having put the building blocks uh, in place for the company over the last 18 months, uh, we, have, we are now looking for a £200,000 investment really to take us to the next level. Uh, everything's set up and we need this investment to actually expose our marketing and really get us going. Um, Private Traveller. Uh, is a luxury tour operator and by that I mean uh, that we package holidays, uh, flights, accommodation and transfers to the destinations all over the world. Um, we use the very best hotels so we always try to go to the very best hotel in that destination. We try to be a one-stop shop so in other words if you're going for example to Barbados uh, we may only have four or five hotels there may be several more than that obviously on the island but we only pick the very best ones uh, we know the hotels very well so we're able to advise our clients what's good what's bad uh, and really why they should be going there and to help them fit the right holiday for their requirements whether it be families couples or whatever um, we always use the very best airlines to get the people there our clients generally travel in first and business class uh, and we always use British Airways, Emirates, uh, and the main airlines that you would expect. Uh, occasionally for, low, uh, for European travel, we do use low cost airlines like EasyJet and Ryanair because it's easier and clients don't mind actually booking those themselves. So in those instances, uh, we will just sell the hotel and the, um, and the um, transfer to get them from the airport. Um, our database uh, and the way we sell it, our sales channels are through our own private database which I've built up over many years and also through selected travel agents. Um, so how did I get into this business? Well um, a little bit of a story. Um, I started life as an accountant. Uh, I worked for Iceland Frozen Foods, uh, the retailer, for a number of years and I've always been a frustrated travel agent. So I booked the holidays uh, for my friends and my colleagues and I used to uh, encourage people to sort of travel and I was really a passionate traveler myself and then uh, after I'd been there a number of years an opportunity came my way to buy a travel agency uh, which had been bought by Iceland uh, and I purchased that in 1996 and left the company at that time it was a commercial travel agent not a tour operator so I saw an opportunity, having watched a number of my would-be competitors in the local area of Chester and North Wales, uh, building their businesses and being very successful. So I thought, well, I'll have a go at that myself. So I started and formed a company called Seasons in Style. Uh, we were very successful. Uh, we grew the company to a £10 million turnover in the first five years. and We were featured in the Sunday Times Fast Track list. Also, in the ensuing years, 2005 and 2009, uh, we won the prestigious Condé Nast uh, Best UK Tour Operator Award. Um, I sold the business in 2009 um, and I missed it. Uh, I spent four or five years really playing golf and doing other things that you do when you sell your business. And I did, took on a consultancy about four years ago for another company and during that time I went out and I met a number of my previous contacts, uh, suppliers, hoteliers, and they said, well, Peter, what, why aren't you doing this for yourself? Shouldn't you really uh, get involved and do this again? Anyway, about 18 months ago, I said, yes, I'm going to do that. So I set about building the base of private traveller. Uh, so we are set up now. We're atoll bonded by the CAA, which means we can legally sell holidays to, the, uh, to clients. Uh, we have contracted 275 ish hotels all around the world all the very top ones we've got contracts with airlines and airline wholesalers so we buy at the very best rates 
and we've got destination management companies in the destinations that we feature. So all in all, we've got a product. The product is there, it's ready to go. We've got a very nice website which we've developed. Um, it's got an interactive uh, reservation system built behind it and a client database. So all in all, the company is ready to go to the next level. And this is why we need the investment to help us to do that. Um, finally, um, we're offering... Peter, thank you. Good pitch. Thank you. Uh, Steve, have you got any questions? Yeah. Uh, how luxurious are we talking? What's the... Extremely luxurious. So, so we're looking entry at... entry level in the, the uh, most expensive hotel? Yes. Yeah. So, for example, we would use Four Seasons, one and only. Uh, quality independence, like Sandy Lane in Barbados. So it's the very top. Because there's five-star hotels and there's five-star hotels. And... Um, you, you flatter me by telling me the names of them as though I... <laughs> so I think people in our market would instantly recognise these, uh, these hotels as being the, the very, very top end. So think of the Savoy, the Dorchester in London, Claridge's, those that we don't do UK, we do abroad, but it's that level that we're looking at. So it's not the sort of um, average um, five star that you might get if you were to book a, a first choice or something like that. No, no offence to them, but that's not the market. We're looking at the, the very high end. Okay. And um, what makes you different from your competitors? Um, I think the difference is that, I mean, we're all selling the same product at the end of the day, but this is a very, very big market and there's opportunity. We only need a very small portion of this market to be very successful. I mean, we're looking for a 4 million turnover in three years and a 10 million in five years. And I did that. 15 years ago. Mm. So I, I should be able to do it again now because obviously prices have increased. So I'm confident that, that I can do that. And, um, you know, I think that's, uh, that's, that's where we're at, really. Um, I read somewhere interesting. It was about, um, it was about all about Instagram and the Instagram gen gen generation. Well, I think everybody's using Instagram, aren't they? That people want more exciting destinations, like unusual places so that it looks better on their, on their feeds. Have you found that? Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of companies who go down what they call the experiential route, which is mm. really what you've described, where they want to do cultural tours or go pony trekking in Patagonia or something like that. We're, that is a market. That's not what we're looking for. We're, we're looking for the high end, what you might term fly and flop holiday. So we're looking for the family who want to go to a five-star deluxe hotel in Barbados for Christmas and New Year, or for Easter, or for a summer break, and they want to fly in the high end of the aeroplane. And you know, a typical package holiday for us could be anything from twenty-five to fifty thousand pounds. That's not unusual. We're not looking for the two and three thousands. These are expensive holidays, and of course, the margins are good. But the client will never pay more than had they booked it themselves. So our service is to actually do all the work for the client. And this type of client doesn't always want to just sit in front of and book a weekend mm. in Paris on the internet. They want the service that goes with it to make sure they're going to the right destination at the right time of year. And we take care of all the frilly bits as well, like the restaurant reservations, the babysitting, the golf bookings, the mm. spa treatments, etc. And sometimes I suppose you can find better prices or, or not. Well, you. you you won't find, you will not be able to get a, a package like we provide any less by doing it yourselves. That is what we are trying to portray. We will deliver a package to a client at the same cost as they would do themselves with all the protection and the knowledge that goes behind it to deliver exactly what they're looking for. Uh, can I ask briefly about the, the exit? What are the ambitions of the company? Well, I think we would like to And it's an enjoyable industry that we operate in. I mean, travel is fun. That's what's brought me back, really. I missed it. <laughs> Can I, I want to have another go. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck. I hope it goes well. How did you, um, how did you meet, meet your you, the people that are involved with your company, your team? Well, I've worked with a lot of them in the past. Mm. Uh, and also, particularly my marketing agent, who's been with me really since the start. Uh, and we've worked extremely well together over many, many years. Um, we value each other's opinions and uh, we bounce ideas off each other. And between us, I think we've got a, a very good sales platform. You know, our website is as good as anybody else's. You won't know if you compared us to one of our competitors uh, that really we are at this moment in time much smaller than they are. But, you know, they're 
it won't take long for us to get going if we can get the right marketing push uh, to deliver what we intend to. And that's what you're raising the funds for primarily Exactly. For that, the, the funds yeah. are, are absolutely for marketing. That's mm. what we want to do to expand the business and to get it going quicker uh, than we could otherwise. Great. And where, and where do you see the marketing uh, journey taking you? In where, where, you mean? Yeah, where? where? Well, I think well, we have a database at the moment. Mm. We have uh, a database of about uh, 11,000 people, which we've built up over the mm. you know, time. Um, and we will be communicating to them through um, what we call e-newsletters. So it's a thing that you normally, yeah, I know we, people get inundated with things nowadays, but hopefully holidays are something that people like to look at, and especially if they're done properly, which th I'm, you know they are, uh, and uh, th they, we've already tested this in the marketplace and we're getting good responses. We just need to do more of it, really. Mm. Uh, we get support from our suppliers to do this as well. So it's not all self-funded. Suppliers will have marketing budgets. They're looking always for good reasons to how to spend those. And we uh, you know, give them those opportunities and they come in with us and contribute. So that allows us to do even more marketing. Mm. Can I ask, um, I assume these people at the moment with the, the type of budgets they're spending are using some kind of concierge service or some? Some of them do use a concierge service, but we are or sort of a concierge service as well. Do you have that human so, face to it though? Um, well, yeah, I mean, they talk, you know, we're not an online booking engine, so we're mm. not Expedia or uh, anything like that. So we, our clients want to talk to somebody. Usually when they're spending that sort of money, they do want to speak to somebody. So for example, not only will we book the holiday, will we book the flight and the transfer and make sure everything's done in that respect, we'll, we'll make sure they're going to the right place. So if they're not unsure about the destination through our product knowledge, we will make sure that the holiday they're getting is what they want and what they mm. expect. Uh, and we'll also take on board booking things in advance. Like, for example, if you go to one of these hotels at a peak period and you want a spa treatment at five o'clock at night, you really do have to book it two or three weeks in advance. We'll tell the client that. You know, you can't just turn up and expect to walk in the spa at five o'clock because yeah. it's full. Um, similar with restaurant reservations. You know, we have all the, um, we know the best restaurants locally. If the client wants to go out and eat, uh, we'll know through the hotel, we'll know babysitting services, we're able to book golf tea times and things like that as well. So yeah, we are a concierge in some respects, mm. uh, <coughs> but more than that, primarily we're a tour operator, but we do offer the concierge service in addition to that, to make sure the client experience is exactly uh, what it should be. Peter, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much for joining well, us. Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, if you'd like to find out more about Private Traveller, you can do so on Crowdcube's website, crowdcube.com. <laughs>